Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to differentiate the exponential function from first principle. To differentiate from first principle, we're going to need to use the definition f dash x is equal to limit h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Here our f of x is equal to a to the x, so f of x plus h is equal to a to the power of x plus h. Applying the first principle definition, f dash x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the x plus h minus a to the x divided by h. And using the index law, we can rewrite this as a to the x times a to the h minus a to the x divided by h. Next step is to factorize out a to the x term. So we get a to the x times a to the h minus 1 all over h. We now apply the limit law, this one. And we can rewrite this as the limit of h approaches 0 of a to the x times the limit h approaches 0 of a to the h minus 1 all over h. Now, the first term here is going to be equal to a to the x. And what we need to do is we now need to evaluate this term limit h approaches 0 a to the h minus 1 over h. In order to evaluate this limit, we're going to need to use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule states that if the limit as x approaches a of f of x on g of x is indeterminate, as in it is 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, then we can evaluate this limit simply by working out the limit as x approaches a of f dash x over g dash x. Now to check if we can use L'Hopital's rule for this limit, Suppose we sub h is equal to 0 into the numerator and the denominator. The numerator, we're going to get a to the 0 minus 1, which is 1 minus 1 or 0. The denominator, simply h is equal to 0. So we get 0 over 0, which is a sufficient condition for us to use L'Hopital's rule. So now we're going to rewrite this limit as limit h approaches 0 and a to the h, we're going to modify that slightly to be e to the log of a times h minus 1 over h. And we're now going to differentiate the top and the bottom with respect to h. When we differentiate the top with respect to h, we're going to get log of a times e to the log of a times h and the derivative of 1 is simply 0. When we differentiate the bottom, the derivative of h is simply 1. Next, we're going to sub h is equal to 0 into this expression. When we do that, this is going to be approaching e to the 0, which is equal to 1. So what we have now is just log of a times 1 over 1, which is simply log of a. That means that the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h is equal to log of a. So now going back to the first slide and combining everything together, we started off with f of x is equal to a to the power of x. f dash x was derived to be equal to a to the x times limit as h approaches 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h. And just then we've proven that this limit is equal to log of a. And therefore, Putting this all together, we get the result f dash x is equal to log of a times a to the power of x. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys did find that helpful. Please help us by clicking like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.